Graded Card Investor. What's going on guys, it's Matt with GradedCardInvestor.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 15 highest selling recently sold sports cards from 1997. This is going to be primarily rookie cards. However, I did throw in some inserts at the end. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Starting off the list at number 15 is a 1997 Bowman's Best Orlando Pace Atomic Refractor Rookie Card number 110, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current population of only 7, with just 16 Atomic Refractors submitted so far, sold at auction on May 24th for $272. Orlando Pace is a Hall of Fame tackle, he played his entire career with the Rams with the exception of the last year, he's a one-time Super Bowl champ, seven-time Pro Bowl, three-time All-Pro. Now linemen aren't the go-to rookie cards for most collectors and investors, however, it's an Atomic Refractor, difficult to pull, and difficult to grade. Coming in at number 14 is a 1997 Pacific Philadelphia Adam Vinatieri rookie card number 199, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of only 80, with just 239 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on March 31st for $358. Adam Vinatieri, he's a Patriots legend. He's a Colts legend. Uh, there's no question about whether or not he's going to go in the Hall of Fame. It's just a matter of, is he going to go as a Patriot? or as a Colt. He was drafted in 96, however, there were no cards made of him, but this is his earliest card, so it's considered his rookie card. Coming in at number 13 is a 1997 Bowman Chrome Adrian Beltre rookie card number 182, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA population of 888, with just around a little over 2,000 submitted so far. Sold at auction on June 5th, $503. Adrian Beltre, he's one of the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. He's gonna be uh, a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's not eligible until 2024, I believe, 2024. His cards have been slowly seeing an increase in uh, value, collectability, and attention. So definitely check out some Beltray cards, get them while you can. He does have some other options out there as well. Coming in at number 12 is a 1997 SP Authentic Jason Taylor rookie card number 116, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 40, with just 166 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction on June 23rd, $516. Coming in at number 11 is 1997 Panini WWF Superstar Stickers, The Rock, number 113, graded PSA 9, mint condition, current population of 41 PSA 9s with 129 submitted so far, sold at auction on June 3rd for $787. There are a lot of Rock stickers from this set, however, his number 113 seems to be the most popular and the highest selling so far. These were found in the uh, 97 Panini sticker packs, they are expensive and hard to find. If you guys have any, you definitely want to consider selling or submitting the PSA or any other third party grading company for grading and authentication. The Rock guys, wrestling cards, especially the, the more notable characters such as The Rock, they're shooting up in demand and value right now. Coming in at number 10 is a 1997 Topps Chrome Tony Gonzalez Rookie Card Refractor number 24, graded PSA 9, mint condition, current PSA 9 population of 37, with only 46 submitted so far, just one PSA 10 has been graded. Sold at auction May 31st for $890. Tony Gonzalez, in my opinion, the greatest tight end to ever play. Go check out his stats, guys. He's definitely the GOAT tight end. I think a lot of his cards are definitely undervalued. This top chrome refractor is the one to get, especially considering how rare they are. Coming in at number 9 is a 1997 Upper Deck England David Beckham rookie card number 18, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 26, with just 141 submitted to PSA so far, sold at auction June 25th for $1,030. These were found in the 1997 Upper Deck England boxes. I believe only 48,000 sets were produced, so of those 48,000, how many survived? Like always, correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. I appreciate all the feedback. I've gotten so far from soccer cards is something I'm still learning. Coming in at number 8 is a 1997 Fleer Ultra David Ortiz rookie card number 518, created PSA 10 gem mint condition, current PSA 10 population of 122 with around 500 submitted so far. PSA has the population report split up because they added Ortiz to the card later on. So, I mean, you have to combine these, these numbers, but Big Poppy, he's going to get into the Hall of Fame. There is a check against his name from uh, a failed drug test, but I think that's 
not really going to be an issue. He's a 10-time All-Star, three-time World Series champ, legendary DH for the Boston Red Sox. 2022 is the first year he's Hall of Fame eligible. Coming in at number seven is a 1997 Bowman Chrome Roy Holiday rookie card number 212, graded PSA 10 gym mint condition current psa 10 population of 135 with just around 800 submitted to psa so far sold at auction on june 17th for 1515 dollars holiday is known for his outstanding durability he led the league in complete games seven times the most of any pitcher whose career began after 1945 he also led the league in strikeout to walk ratio five times and innings pitched four times so he was one of the most dominant pitchers of his era playing for the toronto blue jays and the uh, philadelphia Phillies. Coming in at number six is 1997 Panini Calciatore Andrea Perlo rookie sticker number 80 graded PSA 10 gem mint condition current population of only six with only 36 submitted to PSA so far six were found in gem mint 10 condition sold at auction June 25th for $2,297 these were found in the 1997 Panini Calciatore sticker packs which were put in the 97 Panini Calciatore sticker albums. Coming in at number five is a 1997 Topps Chrome Tracy McGrady Rookie Card Refractor, number 125, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition. Current PSA 10 population of only 23, with 415 refractors submitted so far. Sold at auction June 20th for $3,251. T-Mac, he's in the Hall of Fame. He's had a pretty impressive career. He ended it over in China with the CBA, the Chinese Basketball Association, but he never got a ring. He he got in the Hall of Fame. He got seven-time All-Star, two-time scoring champ. Fairly impressive resume with some pretty decent highlights. Coming in at number four is 1997 Browns Boxing Floyd Mayweather Jr. Rookie Card Number 51, graded PSA 9, mint condition. Current PSA 9 population of only 43, with just 116 of these submitted to PSA so far. Sold at auction on June 26th for $4,861. Floyd Mayweather, he's 50 and 0, undefeated. You can't go wrong with Mayweather. I'm not sure exactly where these cards came from. I try to look it up. Were they in packs? Were they in boxes? If you guys have any insight, let us know in the comments below. There are a lot of other players in this set, so if you guys have some, definitely consider getting them graded or even selling them. Coming in at number three is 1997 Topps Chrome Tim Duncan Rookie Card Refractor, number 115, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, currently only only 106 PSA 10s with 398 submitted to PSA so far. Sold at auction March 31st, $24,713. Tim Duncan, easily one of the best players of all time. You know, heroes are remembered, but legends never die. Tim Duncan, he's a legend. Five-time NBA champ, two-time MVP, three-time final MVP, Hall of Fame, 15-time All-Star. The list goes on and on. A great rookie card from the 90s to collect and invest in. Coming in at number two, 1997 Skybox NBA Hoops, Michael Jordan High Voltage 500, serial numbered out of 500, graded BGS 8.5, near mint to mint plus condition, current BGS population of only 16, with just 39 at least submitted so far, sold at auction on June 28th for $25,100, easily one of the most iconic inserts from the 90s. One of the best photos of Jordan as well. Excruciatingly painful to pull if you guys are trying to pull one of these. I opened up a couple boxes on my channel trying to pull some, uh, no luck. However, there are the non-500 cards, just the regular high voltage inserts. Those are pretty cool and collectible and much more affordable uh, as well. Coming in at number one, 1997 Skybox EX 2001 Kobe Bryant Essential Credentials Insert. Number eight, graded BGS 8.5, near mint to mint plus condition. Current population of only 12 with just 31 submitted to Beckett so far. Sold at auction on April 30th for $60,601. The price tag on this card is simply due to the serial number on the back. Only 73 of these cards were made. These boxes have always been expensive. These card, these inserts have always been chase cards. They have just only gone up in value over time. This is showing you guys the power of the serial numbered cards. Because if this card wasn't serial numbered and it was inserted maybe you know one per box, it would definitely not be this valuable. So the reason it's this valuable is because there's only 73 of these cards printed. They were very difficult to pull. It's just, I mean, if, if you're holding in hand, it is a great card. It's very cool. It definitely has its perks. But like I said, if it weren't for that serial number, definitely would not have sold for this much. All right, so there you go, guys the top 15 highest selling sports cards from 1997 focusing on rookie cards i'm going to come back to these videos again focusing on the insert so make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up i appreciate it guys stay posted for more videos i got a lot more coming for you